Yes, Javier. Uh, Ty Ty was just on, and he more or less said that you guys uh, being on the second team wasn't exactly completely fulfilling, and uh, you guys want to go out there going forward and show your first team backcourt. How uh, how much would you echo that? Um, I mean, of course, just you know, as a basketball player or as a competitor, you want to be on the the first team. But um, then again, there are guys on, and there are really good players in this league who probably thought they should have made the team as well. And um, I, you know, um, it's, it's just a blessing to be able to be recognized by all the coaches, um, you know, across the league as someone who deserves to be all SEC. Um, you know, this is the second time for me, so I'm very, very humbled and very um, excited about that. Um, I'm pleased where I'm at. And, I've, and also considering that Ty Ty and I missed some time, we missed some games. And maybe who knows if we go out there and we win some of those games and we perform well, maybe that would have put us over the edge for the first team. But just to be able to be recognized in this kind of league um, with, with great players and, you know, it's the best league in the country by far and be recognized as one of those top players is, is great right there. And I wonder, you know, Oscar was named SEC Player of the Year. I'm wondering what you thought of the season he's had and what you would say to someone who did not vote him Player of the Year. He's National Player of the Year, so I'm pretty sure he's going to be our league's Player of the Year. Um, <laughs> if you if you don't like Oscar, if you don't um, if you don't think he's the Player of the Year, I mean, I, honestly, I don't think you understand basketball. The effect that he has on the game on both ends of the court uh, kind of speaks for his, his uh, speaks for itself. Um, you know, he's efficient. He makes shots. He can score you on a post. He defends. He protects the rim. He can defend on the perimeter. He's active with his hands. Um, he impacts winning. And um, the spirit he does it also helps him as well. So um, if you don't think Oscar is the SEC player of the year, much less um, the national player of the year, uh, you don't know basketball. <laughs> Terrell Bird. Yes, Severe. I'm asking some of the guys if they caught the end of the women's SEC tournament, how UK won that game, and what kind of impact does it have on you guys going to Tampa? Yeah, first, it, it's Savir. I'm sorry. Um, it's, it's not severe. It's Savir. I thought I got and, it right. Um, sorry. No, you're good. You're good. But um, other than that, I mean, that's that was a, an amazing achievement that they um, that they that they uh, put on, especially the year they kind of they had they kind of had had to deal with adversity. You know, missing guys. Um, you know, some they were dealing with injuries. I think a couple of people got sick. Um, but just for them to be able to come together as one. And I'm going to run that they had is amazing. I mean, I know those conf the, their confidence is, is sky high. And, um, you know, also the coach, I saw a video that they she was like, yo, it's y'all turn. It's you guys are turning to Keon and Jacob. And, um, you know, that's just, you know, motivation. Adding, um, you know, that's that, that feels it feels good knowing that your women's team did it. And, um, you know, they had they dealt with adversity. You know, we've dealt with some as well um, throughout the year. So um, for, for them to do it kind of gives us an extra boost. Like, hey, man, we can go out there and do this as well. Cool. Thank you. Uh, Tucker. Yes, Severe. What what uh, Orlando Antigo? He was here when Cal got here. He's come back this year. What what is his what is he as a coach? What's his personality like? And can you sense the connection that he and Cal have as guys that go? Uh, yeah, Coach Coach O's are he brings the energy every single day. Um, you know he's an everyday he's an everyday guy. I'm um, gonna get the same coach O, Coach O, who cares um, about the players first, about our well-being off the court. Um, you know he holds us accountable on the court, obviously on the defensive side, and making sure we're sharing the ball. Um, you know he does our personnel. So when um, you know we have our personnel for the game, so he's like, hey, he's a shooter, shooter, shooter. He's a driver, driver, driver. He always has those those two phrases. Um, and with his his with his relationship with Coach Cal, obviously you could tell because he know all he knows all of Coach Cal's jokes. Him and Brew. So uh, <laughs> um, it's kind of funny sometimes we kind of finish Coach Cal's sentence. But um, Coach O is, is definitely, um, you know, he's definitely what we need. And anytime he wasn't here when he was out with, you know, COVID or, I mean, I think he wasn't there for the game. His presence was definitely missed, just his energy and, um, you know, being that comfort, that comfort, that, that you know, blanket of security, you knowing if Coach O is there, everything is, everything is good. He's farmer. I haven't been a part of the SEC tournament before. As you go into this, um, you know, people talk about how strong the top of the league has been. I think three of the top four were undefeated at home. Dale and May lost two. Now you go to a neutral site. Just curious your, your thoughts as you, 
uh, you know, go into this tournament and, and with it being on a neutral place? Yeah, um, you know, it's definitely, um, you know, you take it one game, one game at a time, um, you know. You know, we're trying we're trying to win it, obviously, but we're also trying to make sure we do what we're doing um, to get ready for the NCAA tournament. You know, playing for seeding, making sure we can be the highest seed that we can, um, making sure we're continuing to get better as a team. And um, to be honest with you, completely honest, I remember a SEC game my freshman year, and I saw Kentucky um, fans in blue shirts everywhere. I'm like, we were playing. Georgia was playing. Kentucky didn't even play that year, I don't think, because they canceled it. I'm seeing Kentucky fans. So I'm hoping and I'm pretty sure that Kentucky fans are going to travel um, so to make it less um, like a neutral game feel. But all in all, I'm super excited to get down there and, and compete for the SEC uh, Tournament Championship. Harry Graves. Well, Savir, you, you, you kind of answered the question um, that I was going to ask about you know, being uh, on the other side with Kentucky. So uh, I'll ask you an, an Oscar question. When you, you see the kind of impact that he's had on this team, but uh, what kind of impact do you see with him in public, maybe with fans or whatever? I mean, you know, how they react to him and his presence. I mean, you guys see it. I mean, I know you guys aren't just sitting at home and doing the interviews. You guys are out and about and see um, how Oscar interacts with the fans. Um, you know, how he takes the time to sign every single autograph. Um, take every single picture to, you know, build relationships to communicate with everyone who tries to get in contact with them. Um, there was once, there was one game, uh, it was our last home game. Um, I think it was Ole Miss. I was kind of mad on um, my Oscar before the game because um, some, you know, he was already kind of late to the bus and we're trying to get to the arena and some, it was like, you know, 15 fans right outside the lodge um, waiting for us to get on the van. I'm like, Oscar, come on, bro. Like, we got to go. Like, we have a game. This isn't after the game where you could kind of stay. And you're like, we got to go. He's like, no, man, I have to sign every every picture. You have to take pictures. I'm like, all right, bro. But uh, that just tells you um, right there that he really cares for, you know, every single fan. He wants every single fan to feel like they've had an impact or he can make their day with a smile or with a picture. And that just tells you who he is as a person before a basketball player. Larry Vaughn. Yeah, just wondering by, by looking, how healthy are you? Is that just kind of a precaution, what you've got on your wrist there and everything? Yeah, it's, it's just precaution, um, making sure everything is cool. So, so, so no pain or difficulty at all going forward now? No, I think if you've seen the last couple of games I've played, I don't, I don't feel like I'm, I'm having any pain or any restrictions. <laughs> make sure that wasn't something new you had there. <laughs> no, I've been wearing this. Um, for the last however long it's been. So okay. it's nothing new. Okay. 